rope shoes. Why do climbers use them? Do you need them? And what do I think about these particular black diamond approach shoes? In this video, we're going to go through everything you need to know about approach shoes so you can make the best decision for yourself. Hi, I'm Sarah from SendEdition.com. If you're new to climbing, click subscribe right now. I'm making videos like this just for you. So first thing, let's go over what approach shoes are and why climbers use them. Approach shoes are a lightweight hiking shoe, sort of. It's between a hiking shoe and a tennis shoe. It has additional rubber on the toe area so that you can do some, if you need to do some light climbing to get to the location of where you are climbing, like on your hike, there might be a little scrambling areas, it has the extra rubber for that. And then they also have a rubber on the back that is similar to the rubber on climbing shoes. So they give you additional traction. Unlike tennis shoes, they're really, they're meant to be lightweight, but also give you support that you might need while hiking in comparison to while running. Uh, however, hike boots, hiking boots usually give you a little bit more support and they usually have water resistance. Most approach shoes do not have water resistance. That is not the case for all approach shoes. But my idea on this is I'm not going to be in the rain or mud when I'm climbing, so I'm not going to need that water resistance in these kind of shoes. Plus I don't go through riverbeds or anything like that to get to the crags I'm going to. So for approach shoes, you just consider where you're going to be going to see if they're going to meet your needs. Now, climbers use approach shoes to get to the location that they want to climb. Like I mentioned earlier, sometimes on your hike, you might have to scramble up a few rocks. These particular approach shoes have the same rubber that is on the Black Diamond climbing shoes, so it's very sticky and I've never had to worry about slipping, which was an issue with tennis shoes. I was frequently slipping all over the place and so this has prevented that issue. The sole that these are made with, they support your feet really well, similar to hiking boots, but usually hiking boots, you can hike for days in them. These are short hikes, like probably up to four or five miles is the furthest I've gone in them without any issues. I've never gone further than that, so I haven't tested the limit on these things. Now, should you get approach shoes? If you have a pair of tennis shoes and you get to where you climb the crags without feeling like your feet are going to, are burning or anything like that, which was a problem I had. I got these shoes six months ago because every time we went climbing outdoors, my feet would be so sore by the time we got to the crag and then I had to stick them in tiny little climbing shoes. It was really unpleasant for my feet. So I wanted something to fix that. Also, if you are looking for, maybe your tennis shoes are slippery on the rocks, this can help you with that. If you have a pair of hiking boots, you may not need approach shoes, except that approach shoes are usually lighter. So if you have the money to get approach shoes and you're looking for something that's going to take a little bit less effort to lift up because approach shoes usually are lighter, then this is a great option. It also, these particular approach shoes have another benefit that I will go through later in this video that make that really, hint, hint, that really makes them superior to hiking boots for shorter crag hikes. So that is what an approach shoe is, why climbers use them, and an idea of if you need approach shoes comparing to what you currently have and if you need to upgrade to these. So now let's talk about these particular approach shoes. These are from Black Diamond and I tried on a lot of approach shoes before I decided to purchase these. And I'm very happy that I picked these approach shoes. I actually went from, these used to be just approach shoes and now they're my everyday shoes. So as you can see from wearing them every single day, the rubber is still really sticky. We still have really good traction here. There's no tears or anything. And I have put these things through the ringer. I have been out in the rain in these, though that's not ideal because they're not water resistant. Um, and they have are performing really well. There's no wear or tear that's really visible. I mean, they're dirty. These are dirty shoes. 
I just went on a hike with them today. Like they're dirty shoes. But with that being said, they're also still really in great condition. And so I'm super happy with that. The rubber on the bottom, I was worried with how much I was using them that it would wear down a lot. There has been wear, but it is a quality rubber that is going to be here for a while longer. Like it's still very sticky and there's plenty of traction left on it. So I'm not worried about that at all. Another thing about these shoes is everyone was talking about how comfortable they are. And so I was expecting something incredibly comfortable and I got these, brought them home, and I took my dog on a, a dirt path we just went on. It was probably a mile and a half, and my feet hurt so bad afterwards. And it really stressed me out because everyone said that it was just great. And I've had so many issues with my arch in other like tennis shoes that I figured it was just an issue that my sh my feet were are forever going to be uncomfortable. But another mile after that, and I fully broke in these shoes. And now that I've broken in the shoe, it actually forms perfectly to my foot. I can go, I frequently go on four mile hikes with my dog and they're very comfortable. My feet can really handle significantly greater distances because of these shoes. So I'm really happy about the quality of that. If you get these shoes, give them at least two miles of walking in them before they're broken into and that's when your shoe is going to form to your foot so that you can have the most amazing experience ever and there's no superficial arch support in here or anything like that it's really formed to your foot so high quality there and then with these particular approach shoes they also have this awesome uh, foldable heel cup, which in addition to it making it a little bit easier for you to get your shoe on, it's also really nice when you're at the crag. You just finished climbing and instead of sticking your feet in all the way, and you can actually just fold it down, slip your shoes in, you slip your feet in hands free. And I thought when I was told this feature, I thought that was kind of a superficial feature, but it turns out that it's really useful because having two things, not having to shove your feet into another pair of shoes and just like slip them on like slippers has been really nice when your feet are throbbing from a long climb or something like that. And then also I like how sometimes my fingers hurt and so pulling the tab of any kind of shoe would be kind of stressful on my already sore fingers and so just being able to slip them on has been really nice too. Uh, that being said, in comparison to other shoes, there is like a lot of give right here, as you can see as I'm doing this. So getting them in and out of your foot is really easy. Uh, something that I also really like about this these shoes is their rubber on them. Before I got these, there were particular climbs that I was nervous about setting up top ropes because it like goes off this cliff <laughs> and it's terrifying. Whereas these ones, because these shoes have such good traction in them, I felt like I could really like use my feet to hold myself in place while I was setting up the top rope chains. So that's something that I really appreciate from these shoes. If this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. Are you getting a pair of approach shoes? Are these the approach shoes that you want to get? Be sure to comment below. We'd love to hear that. And also please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. These are indicators that you like this kind of content so I can create more content like this just for you. Thanks again for watching and enjoy climbing.